halacha, we go again to bet, Kedushat Bet HaKeneset, so halacha says, Asur lehashem cheshbonot bebet HaKeneset, ve'afilu yesh bahem sorech lebnei ha'ir. Ve'en lebnei ha'ir makom ahad yitasef bo, ve'kos shiken afhem, imhem, betzorech yafi. One is not allowed to make any kind of cheshbonot, money matters, in the shul, even if it pertains to city issues. They're collecting for a certain cause in the city. They need to uh, raise certain funds or whatever it may be. All that is incorrect and it's not the place in the Beta Knesset. Now, what if it's tzedakah? Not just uh, we're collecting uh, because we want to we, we want to build a swimming pool or uh, you want to build a JCC. Or, you know, uh, wanna, we want to want to make a nice place for uh, for the community. This is... You know, pleasure, pleasurable things. How about if it's real tzedakah? It's a place where it's to help the children, or it's to help the aniyim, or it's to help the batei or the yeshivot. These are all things that, again, are under the guidelines of tzedakah. So Allah says, "Avad mutal lehashem b'vetah keneset hashbonot shel mitzvah." One is allowed to make hashbonot of mitzvah if it's for a cause of. Mitzvah, that would be allowed to be done even in Beit HaKeneset. Kegon Kupash Tzedakah, Pidyon Shevuyim, Bekosh Sheken, Shemutalit Hayev Lizdakah, Sobchei Beit HaKeneset. This is even to actually do transactions. Kavachome, that one is allowed to donate. One is allowed to go and give. In the Beit HaKeneset, say, I'm going to give a certain amount of money towards a certain Tzedakah. That would be allowed. ומחמד כן נהגו בהרבה מקומות למכור עליות לתורה, ויש להקה בזה אפילו בשבת ביום טוב. That's why they have the custom to sell עליות in the shul. Again, you're doing business in shul, you're not allowed. But since it's for tzedakah purposes, one would be allowed to do it in the Beit HaKeneset. However, to go online in the middle of Beit HaKeneset and you buy something from Amazon, or you sell something on it, that's all forbidden, that's called personal business. One is forbidden to do that, whether or not you disturb the shul, whether or not it's in the middle of uh, in the middle of tefillah, or if it's just in the middle of nothing. You may have, uh, you're in shul and you're looking on your Amazon account to see what you're selling and what you're going to sell. That's all forbidden. One would not be allowed to do that during, during inside the Beit Hakinesim.